um, let us come back and start with the differences of your lamp tenets and actinides. I said this is this may be asked this year. Let's see. Uh, we will try to write the examples for everything. I'll be listing out almost you know 13 to 14 differences. In that, how many ever you can learn, uh, you can at least minimum of seven to be learned in gone. Uh, go, you have to go to the exam at least seven. Minimum should be uh, minimum should be seven, right? So what did I do? I have differentiated lanthanides and actinides, and I've written the properties in one side. So please try to write the properties like this so that it's easy for the examiner to give you marks then and there because they will know what criteria you are differentiating the lanthanides and actinides right so when i have to write the general configuration of lanthanides as i said lanthanides and actinides the incoming electron enters into f orbital yes so here the electron enters into 4f here it is 5f after uh, f uh, you are the same after 4 we get 5 which is the 5d now here it is 6d after 5d 6s here it is 7s simple now start filling the electrons i said f <coughs> 1 to 14 general configuration i told isn't it now d i said it is with 0 to 1 and s as i said it's going to be if it two electrons so this is the configuration general configuration for this is n minus 1 and this is n minus 2 that now when i have to write the configuration for actinides the same thing 1 to 14 here same thing 0 to 1 here and 7 is 2 so this is all the 15 elements will follow this sequence while filling the electrons now when i have to come to the shielding effect right i have to compare both isn't it now your you have to compare between 4f and 5f yes compared to 5f 4f shielding 4f shielding effect is like compared to 4f otherwise because of the improper shielding it's going to show lanthanide contraction but compared to that 4f shielding is higher than 5f okay so right now 5f has <coughs> poor shielding effect effect i'm comparing both i'm not specifically anything comparing both and right now when i have to write the write the density so density we very well we measure in gram per centimeter cube so try to write the values and write mention the units also so here they are very dense basically so density uh, is equal to mass by volume isn't it now the density value of your lanthanide series it's going to start or the value is going to start from 6.7 gram per centimeter cube to 9.7 gram per centimeter cube yes now so much so that is the reason i said density they are denser uh, metals now when i have to compare come back to actinides your actinides they go the density ranges from 10 gram per centimeter cube to almost you know uh, 12 12.2 gram per centimeter cube 12 gram per centimeter cube Right, so that's why we call it as very dense compared to that very dense metals compared to that yes when i have to come to melting point and boiling point variations right actinides have very high melting and boiling point so let us write that first they have very high mp and bp so what are these range what are the range now here your melting point and boiling point uh, the ra value ranges from thousand Kelvin, see very high, isn't it? <clears> Thousand <throat> Kelvin uh, to almost, you know, uh, like uh, 1250 or 1230, it will go till 1250, 1230 Kelvin. But uh, your samarium has maximum of 1623 Kelvin. So we will write 1000 to 1230 Kelvin, but samarium has 1623 Kelvin. Please try to mention the example so that it's easy for the examiner to immediately give you marks. Now when I have to write the melting and boiling point of this particular thing, now this is 10,000 isn't it? So 1000 Kelvin, this is going to start from 1050 Kelvin and it's going to range higher than this 1623. So this is almost 1650 Kelvin, it's going to range till higher than samarium. 1650. If I have to see the boiling point, it's going to range from 996 Kelvin to 3198 Kelvin. Very high temperature. See, 3198 Kelvin is a 
boiling temperature of your actinides that's the reason i said they're very high melting and boiling point see plus or minus i have uh, there's some variations but the range you can go with the range now when i have to come to electro positive character now what is electro positive character the ability to donate electrons when will the electro positive character uh, uh, come into picture whenever your ionization enthalpy is very less simple isn't it when ionization enthalpy is very less i can easily pull out an or it it can easily donate an electron to an electronegative at limit right that is reason in lanthanides the ionization enthalpy is low that's the reason they are electropositive both are electropositive so let us write electro positive in nature here also the same electro positive in nature because ionization enthalpies are low here also see i'll show you i'll also show you where which ionization enthalpy is more or less so again we'll meet with the next uh, uh, properties i hope it is not confusing simple whichever you write try to compare every element whenever you're writing some experimental value that's more better for the examiner to give you marks Uh, so let us come back and do the next uh, five properties of your land differences between lanthanides and actinides. So when I have to speak about the ionization enthalpy, we very well know ionization enthalpy depends upon the size of the atom. Done? Yes. So the I1 value and IE2 values of lanthanides are comparable to your alkaline earth metals, right? So, alkaline earth metals, you will very well study in S block elements. The first is called alkali metal, the second is called alkaline earth metals. So, I can easily write, I'll tell you why. Ionization 1 are comparable to alkaline earth metals. Why? Here the, uh, the range is for uh, lanthanides, the IE1 ranges from 600 kilojoules per mole and IE2, uh, we, uh, IE2 will be almost you know uh, 1200 kilojoules per mole even when I observe kilojoules per mole. When I observe the alkaline earth metals, the IE1 starts from almost 700 kilojoules per mole and it reaches around 1145 kilojoules per mole. So, they are trying to compare between the um, alkaline earth metals, means the comparative study between alkaline earth metals and lanthanides. So, when I have to come to actinides, if I specifically write, if I take actinium example, actinium ionization first, first ionization enthalpy is almost 499 kilojoules per mole. And when I have to take IE2 value for actinium, it is almost 1170 kilojoules per mole. Yes. Now, if I have to take one more example, laurentium, the last element. Laurentium, the ionization enthalpy or IE1 value is 470 kilojoules per mole. So, what are you observing? The ionization enthalpy values are lower than the lanthanides. That is most important, isn't it? So, IE values are lower than lanthanides why not lanthanum it is lanthanides you have to write the complete thing why because of the outer configuration the electrons which are held loosely your 4f electron or your here it is 5f 5f uh, electron your say uh, next to your uh, uh, 6d and uh, this is an s electron they are very loosely held in the particular uh, outermost shell that is the reason i can apply less energy and remove that electron so ie is lower than lanthanides so when i have to come back to magnetic behavior so when do we call something is showing magnetism when they have unpaid electrons so most important thing whichever has unpaid electrons will show uh, paramagnetism whichever has paid electron has will show diamagnetism now when i have to speak about <coughs> f uh, okay right f14 configuration f14 is completely filled isn't it so whichever has f14 are called as diamagnetic substances right now if i take some more specific examples like lanthanum plus 3 if you write the configuration it is paramagnetic in nature cerium plus 4 they are paramagnetic in nature so i have given you two examples so, wherever you are finding completely filled diamagnetic, whichever has unpaid electron, paramagnetic. So, this is enough for this particular. Now, when I have to write for actinides, actinides also show magnetic behavior, but not much as compared to your lanthanides. Yes. So, the magnetic moment, moment that is mu is less compared to your actinides. So, I am, uh, why, why are they showing? Because of 5F, 5F, 
transitions or phi from uh, the excitation isn't it the electrons phi of by phi of wave function they are going to show ma magnetic property right uh, yes they are going to show magnetic moment m o m e n t yes now i am writing one example i am explaining i otherwise i am writing general one i am writing explaining so that it's not confusing for you all so let us learn the color property so whenever we speak about color property most important thing is they should be either dd transition for d block elements or it should be ff transition for f block elements but important thing is it should have an unpaired electron only in the presence of unpaired electron that will go to the excited state and absorb that particular color from the spectrum and then show that uh, particular color in the compound so now when i have to speak about the color property in Length and nights, as I said, FF transition is important. Now, the element with no unpaired electrons are colorless. So, which will be no unpaired? Basically, your F zero and F fourteen will be unpaired. Correct. Now, F zero is your lanthanum plus three. F fourteen is lutetium plus three. Both are uncolored. Uh, the, they're sorry, they're colorless. I mean, because of unpaired electrons. Now, when I have to specifically write some examples, so cerium plus three. It is your uh, the color of uh, cerium uh, is yellow. When I have to write one more a specific color, or uh, this is an example, Nd plus three. This is pink in color. Yes, because of unpaired electrons. Now, if I have to write for actinides, now your um, <coughs> uranium. What is the color of uranium? It is purple in color. Yes. Now, uh, uh, thorium. If I take thorium, because of unpaired electrons, it is dark blue in color. Dark blue in color. Yes. So all these. This is basically your because of excitation of uh, unpaired electron uh, transfer. That is FF transfer. Transfer. Now when I have to come to radioactivity here in uh, actinides. Actinides are more radioactive compared to your lanthanides. So we can write they are more radioactive than. Lanthanides. That is the reason the elements after uranium are called transuranic elements. Means they are going to show radioactivity. That is starting from actinium eighty nine to your this in uh, the last element orangium one zero three. All are radioactive elements. All everything is radioactive. So let us write from acti all actinides. All actinides are radioactive in nature. Yes. Now here, the elements like basically your cerium plus three and promethium plus three, or, or some you will not write ions because radioactivity we are speaking, isn't it? Cerium and promethium both are non-radioactive, and remaining are radioactive in nature. So remaining are radioactive in nature. Radioactive in nature, right? Then now let us come back to the last one, oxocation. So what is actually an oxocation? Let's see. First important, lanthanides do not form oxocation. Do not form oxocation. Yes. Now these are going to form oxocation. Now what is oxocation means? If the oxygen atom is carrying the positive charge, then we call it as oxocation. Like for example, <coughs> just see. Um, Your uranium, okay. Plus, look here. Oxygen is carrying an uh, uh, positive charge, so oxo cation. So NpO2, right? This is also carrying a cation, so oxo cation, right? So, uh, so basic thing is, if the oxygen, the electronegative atom is uh, normally it carries a negative charge, but here if the uh, negative positive charge is carried by the oxygen atom, we call it as oxo cation, which lanthanides are going to form. So this, so these do not form oxo cation. So they form oxo oxo cation. Yes. Let us again meet with the next uh, differences. Let us come back and uh, uh, learn the differences based on the oxidation state. So, we, what does the oxidation state depend? Oxidation state basically depends upon the electronic configuration. It either loses electrons or it's going to gain electrons till it reaches reaches a uh, stable configuration, isn't it? So, in case of lanthanides, your cerium is going to, based on the configuration, it's going to show plus four oxidation state. 
if i have to speak about semiridium it's going to show both plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation state also yes now let us come back and see based on the configuration whether i can tell them whether it is reductant or oxidant now when i have to take europium configuration is 4f7 uh, 5s2 right fine now when i have to uh, speak about one more terbium right it is 4f9 uh, 5s2 when i have to speak about yttrium yb it is 4f14 and 5s2 let's see now here <coughs> the uh, europium it can lose two electrons isn't it yes so it can show which oxidation which state it can show u eu plus two one more ionization enthalpy i'm going to lose and it can also lose one more electron yeah that is uh, your uh, one uh, from here in f um, subshell and it can also show eu plus three now let's come back to this tb tb configuration it can lose two electrons it can become a tb plus two it can also lose one electron from here it can be tb plus three it can further extend its configuration because now one this loses one electron this becomes four, uh, this one isn't it eight okay from nine it has become eight again if it is losing now two electrons these two have lost one if i take out one more electron becomes eight one more electron if i take it it's become four f seven four f seven is half filled and highly stable isn't it yes so it will also prefer forming tb plus 4 that's the main thing now when i take about uh, yttrium yttrium it can this is completely filled configuration so that's going to show why the stable configuration by b plus because this is already completely filled and will prefer showing plus 2 oxidation state stable cup form yes it also shows plus 3 with more amount of ionization enthalpy correct so these are your oxidation states of uh, this one so based on this oxidation state i can say yeah it's losing so i can say this is a reductant this acts as a reductant now when I see this configuration, this is an oxidant, isn't it? Oxidant, it can act as an oxidant. Now, again, this is a reductant. Yes. yes. So, now, uh, when I have to come to actinides. Actinides, the general configuration or the common configuration is plus 3. Yes, it can go and extend its configuration like for neptunium and plutonium. It can extend its oxidation state till plus 7 right so common is 3 plus 3 and it can go till plus 7 now uh, what actually is happening here uh, i'm trying to explain the concept of their reducing property also in this so if they ask you the reducing property differences you can write that and write this is reductant or oxidant now, complex formation so now what actually depends on complex formation lanthanides do not form complexes and these form complexes what is the reason they form complexes so the reason is here when i have to speak about the configuration it is 4d right and uh, now this is 6s i'm sorry this is 6s isn't it 4 uh, 4f 5d and 6s correct so i'm sorry here this is 6s i'm wrong it's wrong yes it is 4f 5d and 6s now here what happens is your 4f electron yes and your uh, 5d and 6s here what is in this case it is 5f 6d 7s isn't it yes now what happens when i'm trying to take one electron out from 4f the nuclear attraction is very high and the shielding effect also is very less so this is compared to 5f this is more inner it is incorporated is um, you know it is inside the atom and the nuclear attraction is more on this compared to this isn't it so pulling out the f electron is very difficult to form complexes that's the reason uh, it doesn't form complexes so what should i write the 4f electron or the 4f electron is or experiences experiences more nuclear charge compared to 5f so now 5f can easily donate electron and form complexes so 5f participates participates in complex formation yes complex formation that's it so compared to this the distance and com i'm comparing the distance between 4f and 5f and i'm explaining the possibility so you can write this so these are your differences almost 12 differences have given please learn at least seven out of that if they give you four on the safer side try to learn 10 and keep it with you so whichever properties asked you can easily write that